The Maine Immigrants' Rights Coalition estimates 2,000 asylum seekers have come to Maine over the last year. Finding housing for the growing number of new Mainers is a perpetual challenge. But many organizations are working to establish new places to live for those seeking a better life here. New Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse reports. As hundreds of asylum seekers continue living in area shelters and hotels, organizations like the Greater Portland Council of Governments are continuing to look for solutions. We have an opportunity here to resettle families in our community who will invigorate our workforce and set Maine up for success. Belinda Ray serves as Director of Strategic Partnerships for GPCOG. She says the organization is ramping up its fundraising effort, first announced in the summer, to help create transitional housing for asylum seekers. The current plan calls for 200 units able to house between 600 and 1,000 people. We're looking at efficient homes, which range between 500 and 650 square feet. They have multiple bedrooms, kitchen, living room, full baths. GP Cog hopes to raise $2 million of GAP funding for the roughly $43 million project. An official site has not been named. One under consideration is this 20-acre undeveloped lot in the Riverton neighborhood of Portland. Every night there are, you know, three, four, five families that are living in somebody's, you know, basement or some church. Mufalo Chittam is the executive director of the Maine Immigrant Rights Coalition and says with the pause of emergency rental assistance funding and the program's future in doubt, it makes finding new housing options for asylum seekers and others in need all the more essential. Hundreds and hundreds of people being affected by that uh, because the e emergency rental assistance was able to get people off the street, literally. Off the streets and into hotels is emergency shelters. Some may soon force those living here to move out if the funding stops. Another housing project for asylum seekers is in the works too. Avesta Housing hopes to open this 52-unit apartment building for asylum seekers in early 2023. Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine. The GP COG project is still in the planning and fundraising phase. The organization hopes to finalize a location soon and begin construction in 2024 with people moving in the following year.